I crash landed the helicopter and saved the queen. And the people cheered and sang with joy. And that's when I finally made the switch from oh. drinking cold water uh -huh. to drinking room temperature water. Oh, yeah, I see. that makes sense. What's going on here? Why are you sitting around talking when we could be out getting free candy? <laughs> Ginger, we're adults. If we want candy, we can just go buy some. Oh, so you're just coming with me while I trick or treat. I don't think you understand. Trick or treating isn't on our schedule tonight. What? But wait, are you saying? Don't touch it. <gasps> Sorry. Listen, it's cold, it's dark, Hank still hasn't returned my scuba diver costume. Oh, that was a costume. No wonder the tag on it said, do not wear in water. The point is, we're not really doing Halloween this year, Ginger. Not doing candy. Ginger, I'm a grown-up now. I drink room temperature water. I can't be out running around with children in costumes. You'll be sorry you didn't take me trick-or-treating. And you'll be sorry you said such mean things about me. Um, we didn't say any mean things about you, Ginger. Well, I'm sure you thought them. Yeah, he's got us there. All right, who's ready for this year's Scarathon TV Marathon? Woohoo! me! about to enter a place beyond a place beyond another place some things are the same here but some are different are ghosts real do aliens exist what is the tooth fairy doing with all those teeth everything isn't black and white but this show is you've just crossed over into the sundown center <laughs> boring did you seriously pick an old black and white show for this year's scarathon why does it matter if it's in black and white it's boring this is halloween the scarathon should be scary au contraire mon scare black and white can be very scary especially if i use this the total tv immersion app it makes it feel like you're in the show. It'll have you shaking in your Halloween boots. Ooh, I'm so scared. You will be. Whoa. Whoa. Is wow. this real? This is awesome. It's just like we're in the Sundown Sector. Maybe we are. Total immersion. Today's story is about a monster. Not a monster that lurks in the dark. Not a monster with fangs or claws. This monster is an adorable little boy. Ah! All right, listen up. Because I'm nice, I'm going to give you one more chance. You can either come trick-or-treating with me now, or you can suffer the consequences. Ginger, this is getting annoying. How many times do we have to tell you no? No, 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 no. <gasps> what just happened? Ah, where did Ben go? Let me out! 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 Now, do you want me to turn you into an app? Or do you want to do exactly what I say? to break, Ginger. We're exhausted from following all of your fun orders. Turn the TV off, Hank! Mm. I can't. The 
Halloween episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy's about to start. I mean, I can't do that. The Halloween episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy's about to start. Turn it off now, Hank, or I'll send you into my phone like I did to Ben. <laughs> I can't do it! This is your last warning! I can't! What? I just can't! Please don't punish me! I physically can't turn off the TV if Bago and McGillicuddy is on! <laughs> uh, anyone else? Come on, teacher! This isn't funny anymore! Let us out! Alright! Time to go check our training! Huh? You're gonna hold my extra bags! Great! You're gonna carry me so my feet don't get sore. Uh, Great uh, idea, uh, right, Angela? Angela, what are you doing? I am finished doing what Ginger tells us to do. Excuse me? You heard me. I said I'm not going to listen to you anymore. You're just a little brat who gets mad when he doesn't get his way, and I have had enough. Uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 to stop, Ginger. You can't just push people around and intimidate them into doing what you want. That's funny, because I actually can't do that. Ginger, Ginger, listen, I, I, I want to say that I am really sorry for the whole running and chasing and, and yelling thing. I actually like following your orders. Uh, j j just give me another one and I'll do it right away. Sorry, Tom. It's too late. You had your chance. Ginger, please. No. <laughs> Top? What is this? Wait, are, are we in... Yeah, we're inside Ginger's phone. And by the looks of it, we're trapped. Things were pretty bad in here for a while, but then the couch and the TV just appeared out of nowhere. It was awesome. Speak for yourself. When the couch appeared, it landed on me. How did that happen? What's that sound? What sound? <gasps> Bend to your left! <laughs> and then move to your left. Are you sure we can't escape? There has to be some way out of here. I don't even see any doors or walls. It's like we're in a totally different plane of existence or something. Well, at least we're not just sitting around the garage. We keep saying we need to get out more, and we finally did. I'm proud of us. You know, this same thing happened on an episode of the Sundown Sector. I guess we'll just have to do what those characters did. Witches. I mean, not like witches, but witches. Give up. Give up? You mean just stop trying to escape? Yep, there's no way out, so might as well get comfortable. Are you crazy? There is no way I'm giving up that easily. Hey, Ginger! You hear me out there? You're not gonna get away with this! We'll escape somehow, and when we do, you'll win. What is that? What is that? Wait, 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 wait. was terrifying. I told you old things can be good and scary. You guys don't think something like that is really possible, right? I mean, I, I know it's just a show, but you don't think that... Ah! Hey guys, I'm back! Ah! And I got tons of candy! Ah! What's wrong with you guys? Nothing. Yeah, nothing's wrong. Everything is great. Just... Perfect. Okay, if you say so. 
Hey, the sundown sector. I remember this show. I used to watch this with my parents. They said I reminded them of some character on there. I don't remember who, though. Isn't that weird? I said, isn't that weird? Who's the good-looking guy turning all the heads tonight at the scarf party? Tom. <laughs> That's right. Talking about Tom. Whoa, not everyone can pull off a red scarf. It's warm color brings out my cool stuff. Check style. it out. It took all night, but my new app is finally good. Oh, oh. Ah, not in the toilet, not in the... Ah, in the toilet. <gasps> finally, one of Ben's inventions is right where it belongs. Ah. <laughs> ah. I know, it's like, gosh, what's my best runway angle? No, I mean... Left, right, over the shoulder, up the nose? Tom, be serious. This is a big opportunity for me. This isn't just some scarf fashion show. This is the Scarf Spectacular Runway Nectacular. I don't know if you know this, but the scarf industry is so hard to break into. And every year at the SSRN, you know, the Nectacular, all the scarfies give one newcomer a chance to show their scarves to the world. And this year... I am that newcomer. Tom! Angela, relax. I'm here for you. I'm actually here for the party. And this party has everything. Shrimp, free. Punch, free. <laughs> Cocktail wieners, surprisingly expensive. Just kidding, those are free too. Hmm. I have to get ready, so please don't embarrass me. Just try to act like you belong here. Don't worry, I'm just gonna scarf down some shrimp. <gasps> scarf down some shrimp? Angela, did you hear what I just said? Scarf? And she thought yeah. I was gonna embarrass her. <laughs> Still not working, huh? Nope. So what's the problem? The cloud storage matrix? No, you think, but what's really causing the main issue the is... Well, it's more than that. It's actually... The response sequencing loop? Oh, get out of the way. I'll fix it. Go right ahead. I could use a laugh. <laughs> For starters, you'll never be able to bypass the base matrix. You have huh? bypassed the yeah. base Wait, matrix. Wait, how did you do that? I mean, beginner's luck. Wow, no, 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 the food is for guests. Guests only. What? I'm a guest? <laughs> How could you get invitation? You're wearing your scarf backwards. I know. Now you wear it sideways. This is truly embarrassing for you. Embarrassing? Don't embarrass me. You're right. This is embarrassing for you. You've obviously never heard about the backwards with the sideways shift scarf trend. I don't know. I have heard of all of these fashions. Of course I have. Well, then you obviously know who I am. I'm Tom of Tom's Scarf Productions. I'm head scarf producer. Scarf doocer. You are a scarf doocer? Couldn't say it if it wasn't true. Ooh, let me pick into your brain. What fabric makes best fringe for you? Well, it's hard to say. Yeah, yeah, it is hard to say. This is the biggest debate in the scarf community for years. You know, to me, it isn't even about the fabric anymore. It's the whole... Scarf experience. Scarf experience? Yes, yes. I, I pretty much want to use Ooh. the technology to break down all scarf limitations. I'm talking about an app oh. that will allow you to try on every scarf ever invented and even scarves that haven't been invented. No limitations. No limitations, no walls, no boundaries. The scarves can go anywhere. That's why it's called the Infinite Closet. Oh, yes, this is perfect. I must take you to my superior. I heard everything. And I love it! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I can't believe it. It's like, how nervous am I? I mean, singing on stage is one thing, but talking on stage about scarves? 
It's like so totally different. All I know is you're gonna do great because your scarves are great. My neck's been warm all night and I didn't even embarrass you once. Everything's going great. <gasps> oh. Hmm. Attention, Scarfies! Stop what you're doing! Huh, that's a familiar voice. We have a very special guest tonight. I'd like to introduce a young visionary who I believe will revolutionize the next statement industry. Angela, stay where you are. You're not the newcomer of the year anymore. Tom, come to the stage, darling. Earlier tonight, Tom pulled me aside and told me about his brilliant new infinite closet. No, 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 I didn't pull, there was no pull, no. Look, I think there's been a mistake. Yes, there has been a mistake. For years now, closets have been finite. Right, can I just explain? You can explain. At 9 a.m. in my office on the first day of your scuffed Oh, how Angela. could you? <laughs> Angela, wait. All I wanted to do was show my scarves and spread my message. Cool style and warm necks for everyone. And then you had to go and blow up my spot. Angela, I'm sorry. I never blow up your spot on purpose. I don't know how I became the hit of the party. People just love me, I guess. Ah, oh, Tom, you are such a... Look, I have a meeting with Autumn Summers tomorrow, and she wants to hear about the infinite closet. Which, first of all, has nothing to do with me, and second of all, the app doesn't even exist. Yet. But I already have it all figured out in my head. Ugh. Seriously. It will be an app all about your scarves. Ugh. Angela's infinite closet. Warm necks are one swipe away. Ignore that last part. We can work on that later. No, that's great. That actually doesn't sound that bad. That's what I meant. Genius, right? No, not at all. No, I just need to make the app. <laughs> All right, so, infinite closet. Can you do it? Can? Well, yes, of course I can. Great, so just let me know when you're done and we'll But be... I don't think I should. I can't just bail you out every time you make a mistake. You'll never learn your lesson. Sounds to me like someone doesn't know how to make an infinite closet app. Do too, I just don't want to keep enabling Tom's bad habits. I like to encourage him to fix his mistakes. I call that ben -abling. Call it what you want. All I hear is a guy that doesn't want to reuse the existing framework of an app he already has to help his friend. What? I mean, yes, I could do it, but I would have to go back and reskin it. And you don't know how. Don't know how? I'll show you who doesn't know how. Watch this. Nice work. You know I like candy, right? Huh? <laughs> Are you sure this is gonna work? Absolutely. Tom, darling, welcome to my palace of scuspiration. So glad you could be here. Oh, uh, who are you? Uh, Angela, I was supposed to be the newcomer of the year. Rhetorical. Tom, I'm dying to hear your presentation. I completely cleared my schedule for the next seven minutes. Take me to the infinite closet. Infinite closet. That's exactly what I have. It's an app with every scarf you could possibly imagine. But for the presentation, I'd like to turn things over to Angela, the real genius behind the idea. Thanks, Tom. Scarves, they light up our necks. They provide us with something special, something extraordinary. Angela's Infinite Closet will bring affordable scarves to billions of people all around the world. Finally, scarves can be for everyone! Everyone? Tom, what is this? Uh, Angela's Infinite Closet? No, no, no! Scarves are not for everyone! If everyone had a scarf, how would we be able to tell the cool people from the... Ugh, normals? Uh, um, did you just say normals? Sorry, I meant to say ordinary, regular normals. Hey, some of my best friends are ordinary, regular normals. It's okay, Tom. Autumn Summers, you know what? We don't want to sell our scarves here. Go ahead and keep your lame scarf spectacular. <gasps> it's a necktacular! I know what I said. Come on, Tom. We're out of here. Oh, oh, oh. 
And another thing, despite what just happened here, I just want to say that you put on a lovely event and the food table was first rate. See you again next year. Uh, no we won't, Tom. No we won't. Wait, what? Why not? Because we're gonna sell our scarves on our own terms. You'll never wore the neck again! Ah, it's the end of fashion as we know it. All right, Ben, music up. We're yes. hauling heat in three, two, one. Come on, Hank, work it! Yeah! Thought you'd never ask. Are you wearing that scarf or is it wearing you? I got this. Yeah, Hank, that's what I'm talking about. Look at him, he's smoldering. It's working! Orders are off the hook! Everybody wants your scarves! Yeah. No way! That's awesome! Woo. We did it! Yeah! <laughs> We're gonna be so we scarf and rich! We did it! <laughs> yeah, if we were charging for them. Wait. You wanted me to charge for the scarves? Well, that's later, but right now, let's get some dress rehearsal style applause for Angelo! Thank you, thank you! All right, guys, here's a Christmas song my grandmother used to sing to me when I was a little girl. Now, there's just one thing I want for Christmas. Here's some things I like about Christmas. Presents. True that! But you know what I hate about Christmas? Oh, what's that? Reindeer. Reindeer! Reindeer! Stomping on my roof! Stomping my roof! Eating all my carrots! Woo! Pooping yeah! on my snowman! Filthy, nasty reindeer! Get off the stage! Oh no! Why? Is there a fire? Your singing stinks as bad as your feet. <gasps> A heckler in my club? You better show yourself before I throw yourself. Sorry, Angela, I feel terrible about this. <laughs> then why are you doing the worm? Worms can feel terrible. Ha! Whoa! Angela, why are you so upset? I was just a heckler. No, Tom. It was more than that. Much more. It brought me back to another time I was heckled. Filthy, nasty reindeer pooping on my snowman. Pooping on my snowman. Get off the stage. Huh? Your singing stinks as bad as your feet. <gasps> Who would do that? Who would heckle a sweet little girl singing a nice song about Christmas? Well, all the doors were locked. We're the only ones here. And I was on stage, so you know it was a feast. So... so that means the heckler is one of you? Oh, that's my new rig toad. I, for one, am shocked and appalled that someone would heckle Angela. Well, you shouldn't be, considering the heckler is... You! Oops, sorry. A simple internet search of Tom and Heckler shows that you, Tom, received not one, not two, but three after-school detentions for heckling. And one of them was at a Christmas concert! Tom, you heckled? How could you? That was a different time. I was young and desperate for attention. I never stopped talking. I, I was a real blabbermouth. Couldn't shut me up. I would just go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Tom! The point is, that was a different me, okay? I would never heckle Angela. <sighs> I wish I could believe you. You can! Well, Angela, wait! I have to find the real heckler and clear my name. Luckily, I know everything there is to know about solving mysteries thanks to my favorite show, Professor Bloodhound and Constable Larry. You know, that show where the characters spout British cliches to try to sound smart. Indubitably, old chap. With 
without having done any actual detective work besides wearing this hat, which I fancy, I can conclude with some degree of certainty that the heckler is Ben, if that's your real name. Uh, you have no idea what you're doing, do you? I'll ask the questions here. Yes, Professor Bloodhound will ask the questions. Ben, is it or is it not true that you recently developed an app called the Hecklematic? Oh, the worm hath turned. Well, yes, I did. But and what does the app do? Well, it heckles. Aha! I mean, aha! British. Crumpets. It wasn't me. I only made that app to train myself to deal with hecklers while I'm doing stand-up. Look, see, okay, here. Ahem. Why do magnets win beauty pageants? Because they're so attractive. Boo! Your comedy is terrible! Boo! Get a real job! You're awful! Ginger, that was a heckle. Oops. What? You think I'm the one who heckled Angela? Well, you do enjoy heckling, right, Inspector Bloodhound Tom? Ginger, of course. It's so obvious it hurts. It wasn't me. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Hank, let me ask you something. You sleepwalk, right? Sure, every night. And while sleepwalking, you scream at anyone who crosses your path. Of course. And what was your favorite part of Angela's performance? I don't know. I fell asleep. Oh, crumpets! Ugh, this is ridiculous. Tom, your investigation hasn't proven anything. And you're the only one who's ever heckled at a Christmas show. So as far as I'm concerned, you're guilty. Please, Angela, you've got to believe me. I'd never heckle you. Guilty. Angela's honestly like the single most amazing person I've ever met. If she thinks I'm the heckler, well, she'll never fall. You think I'm in love with Angela? Oh, come on. Okay, right out. Let, uh, look, I know we're stumped, but I promise we're gonna find this heckler somehow. Hey, whenever Professor Bloodhound is stumped, he and Constable Larry always do two things have a spot of tea, and then return to the scene of the crime. Oh, that's dreadfully good. Hmm. <laughs> As a servant of the Crown, I demand to see the security footage from Angela's rehearsal. Oh, yeah! Uh, follow me. <laughs> Aha! Zoom in there, if you please. Zoom that in. Enhance. Make it so. Yup. Aha! Hank! I've got a feeling I know who our heckler is. Jolly good work, Inspector. Oh, yeah! Look at him. He's doing the running bloke. Yeah, I have a different dance for every move. Right now, I'm surprised and kind of hungry. I've gathered you all here at the scene of the crime so that I can reveal not only who heckled Angela tonight, but who heckled her way back when in kindergarten. Because, you see, the two hecklers in question are, in fact, one in the same. Oops, sorry, I'll put it on vibrate. And these bickies, which I believe you call cookies, will prove it. Wait, who's that? Ooh. Hold it right there! Okie dokie. Aha, I knew it! Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you your heckler. Santa? Ho, ho, guilty as charged. I knew it. I mean, like, I didn't know it, but I, like, knew it. What? Santa, why would you heckle Angela? Have you ever really listened to the lyrics in her Christmas song? Filthy, nasty reindeer, pooping on my stomach, pooping on my... Okay, I guess. You know, maybe out of context, those lyrics could sound a bit anti-reindeer. I'm sorry. Wait, Tom, how did you know it was Santa? Well, think about it. All the doors were locked, which means the heckler had to find another way into the club, like a chimney. Oh, there's a chimney right there. Right, stay with me here, buddy. But what about the robot voice? You mean this voice? <laughs> Just a gadget that the elves made for me. 
Oh, I'm sorry I heckled you, Angela. The important thing here is that we solved the mystery. And now we know for sure that I'd never, ever, ever, ever do anything to hurt Angela's feelings. Hmm. <laughs> ever. Good. Now, do you think you can still play the Christmas ah, concert? Uh -huh. Let me tell you about the dopest Christmas I ever had. Getting hackled by Claus. So, it's Christmas Eve, bro. You gonna tell her how you feel? <laughs> what? I mean, I think she's uh, uh, super swell and uh, an upstanding uh, 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 citizen. Tom, I'm Santa Claus. I know when you're sleeping, I know when you're awake, <laughs> and I know when you're lying. No, I, no, I, what, uh, no. Oh, hey, Angela, hi. I am so psyched. I can perform again. And it's all <gasps> thanks to <gasps> you, Tom. <laughs> I, um, got you a little something. <laughs> well, you did? Oh, you didn't have to do that. And I think it really sums up how much you mean to me. Oh, <laughs> gotta go. Oh, just friends forever. Huh. Well, the just part seems a bit unnecessary. <laughs> Get some of that funky, you y'all! Are you ready? I hope you're ready, because I am definitely ready. What am I ready for? I'll tell you what I'm ready for. I'm ready for you TV producers to give me my own show. Ah, uh, Ginger, pay attention. Sorry, Tom, not sorry. Okay, here it is, the Talking Tom reality TV show audition video. <laughs> Now, I'm not gonna come on here and be like, oh, producers, please, please, please give me a reality show. No, I don't need to do that. Why? Because I know when you see my friends and my cool life, you're gonna be like, oh, Tom, please, 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 let us give you a reality show. Uh, hey, uh, probably being paranoid, but just wanted to make sure that you knew I was kidding when I was acting like you were gonna be begging me to do a reality show, okay? Okay. And cut! Thanks, Ginger. Tom! Hey, Angela! I got here as quickly as I could. Your message said it was urgent. Is everything okay? Yes! I'm finally filming my reality show audition tape. Oh, not really interested. Uh, now, Angela, I need you to check the acoustics for our new reality TV confession booth. Tom, it's a bathroom. Well, yeah. People sound great in the bathroom. That's why they sing in the shower. There's no shower in here. There's just a toilet. Shower, toilet, use your imagination. What? Use my imagination? Are you kidding me right now? That's our Angela. She's not only my good friend, but she is also kind of a pop star. You might even know some of her songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, yeah, baby, baby. Why don't you sing one of your songs? I love Tom, but my manager thought it might hurt my career to sing one of my real songs on his crazy audition tape. As you can see, this is no ordinary neighborhood garage. It's what we call the studio. studio. And it's where I produce games and songs and apps with my best friend and business partner, Ben. Hey, Ben. Ah! Tom. Ah! Please tell me that camera isn't recording. Are you kidding me? That was reality TV gold. Ben here is the owner of all this high-tech, expensive equipment. Correct, Tom. So don't you dare touch it. Ben's mom will let him keep the stuff at his house because of a few too many, shall we say, <clears throat> power surges caused a few too many, shall we say, the house fires. Not really my fault. Our electricity grid badly needs an upgrade. So, Ben, can you tell us what kind of mind-blowing, life-changing, high-tech invention you're working on? I can, but I don't see the reason why I would. Oh, come on, Ben. Tell us what it does. Well, if you must know, this is a squirting flower joke app. Ooh, what's that button? No, 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 don't, don't push it! Hmm, it doesn't even work. Well, it should. <laughs> no! 
Now that is the funniest thing I have ever seen you do. What do you mean? I'm often very funny. Uh, not really. Uh-huh, I am so. Nope. Uh, nope. Mm hmm. You, reality show producers, you should know the following. Yes, I'm a tech genius, but I also possess a well-rounded personality. For example, I can be whimsical. I'm often spontaneous. I'm organized. In a fun way! And most of all, I am humorous. You're humorous? What? You don't think I'm funny? Mm, you know what? Forget I said anything. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not leaving until I have shown everyone that I am more than just the brains of this operation. Please don't. <clears throat> Hello, viewer. Prepare to laugh at the following stand-up comedy humor presentation. <laughs> Joke number one. So yesterday I flew in from the West Coast, and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> so you see, Tom, the word flu has two different meanings, so. Ben, if a joke is funny, you don't need to explain why it's funny. Stop it, Tom, you're embarrassing yourself. I have studied a lot more comedy than you have. Good day. Oh, of course, the best comedy comes from a spreadsheet. What are those two bickering about? Do they think that's going to impress the producers? And why am I talking to you instead of talking directly to them? Uh, take over. Oh, um, uh, uh, hi, I'm Tom's roommate, Hank. Um, well, I've seen every sitcom made from 1986 to 1994. And in France, I, I, I'm called Hawk. Ten Hawk! Ginger! Oh, Ginger! Ginger, it's your turn to talk! In a minute! I'm almost done! Hey, that's my phone! I told you, if you don't behave, I'm gonna send you home. I'm sorry, Hank. Give me another chance! I'll be good! Ginger! And well, okay. Hi. Ginger, and I'm seven years old. And when I grow up, I want to be just like my role model, Hank. Ah, uh, I'm the only one who disciplines the kid. That's why he looks up to me. Hey, give me that, ah! Ginger. Have a seat on the couch and tell the producers about yourself. Whoa. Tom, you start. I'm what people call a visionary. Some days I'll wake up and think, let's see. Today, I'm going to design a hot air balloon that can land on a passing asteroid. Except a hot air balloon can't fly in space. That's a minor detail. Comments like that prove that you're just not a visionary. And you're not a scientist. You two are a great team. Tell us about some of the apps you've created. Oh, tell her about the Ray Ray. Oh, uh, why did you bring that up? The Ray Ray was an app that used bursts of microwaves to locate people nearby named Ray. Wow, nobody needs that. Well, maybe we should talk about Cook My Salmon, the app that makes your phone so hot it can cook salmon. Which totally worked, it just drained your battery. And set your pants on fire. Really, guys? So, tell us how you first met. Well, it was like a million years ago. <laughs> no, it was 8.3 years ago. <laughs> cool! cool. 8.3? You're talking nonsense. Nonsense? You're the king of nonsense. I am literally a hologram of positivity! <laughs> now, the vibe I'm going for here is everyone's got their own whatchamacallit. So, Tom, is there anything about Ben that gets on your nerves? Huh. Don't touch that! <laughs> Don't touch my computer screen. <laughs> now you're touching me! Now, who wouldn't want to watch that on TV? That's it. I'm never going to work with you again. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Not so good. I don't think my video is good enough to convince the TV producers to give me a reality show. Then just turn it into a very special Christmas audition video. Would that work? You know that show, The Hermit Housewives of the Arid Islands? Sure, everyone does. They were almost canceled. And then they turned every episode into a very special Christmas special. Would that work for us? 
Don't ask me, ask this guy. Somebody call Santa? Ho, ho, ho! Where did he come from? Okay, Ginger, cue the snow and action. This season, children all over the world are going to be asking me for the same thing. Santa, they're saying. All I want is to see a reality show starring Talking Tom and his friends. Hey, what is this? It's a public service announcement for children who want me to get my own reality show. Kids watch enough TV. No, my show will be good. It'll be like a Christmas miracle. But I'm not sure if the TV producers will like it. Oh, what do you need a TV producer for? To make all my dreams come true? Ho, ho, ho! Good one, Tom. You don't need some outdated, washed-up TV producer to make your own reality TV show. I don't? No. All you need is a video camera, a computer, and a bunch of crazy goofball friends. <laughs> Which you definitely have. I do? Ho, ho, ho! Yes, you do! So just make the show yourself. I can do that! Thanks, Santa! This may be the best Christmas ever! ever. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way! Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh! Hey, you take your love! Come sing with us! Anybody seen Angela? What? Until that awful singing stops, I'm staying right in here with you, confession camera. You're welcome. Santa! Santa! Oh, ho, ho. Santa, wait! You forgot my Christmas list! Ho, ho! Email me! Oh, okay. Ho, ho, ho! Guys, I'd say our first annual indoor fun day was a big success. It sure was. I'm glad the landlord sprayed all those chemicals on the lawn so we could go outside. Well, look at this. Angela even set up an arts and crafts table. I made friendship bracelets. See, the different threads represent, um, different colors of friendship. Angela, I don't ever exaggerate, but these are Mind-blowing. Oh, well, do you want one? Do I? Ha! I mean, uh, uh, you know, if you happen to have a, a next one, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll take it off your hands. Awesome! There. Now we have matching friendship bracelets so everyone will know we're friends. But remember, you can't remove it. You have to let the bracelet fall off on its own. What happens if I take it off? I think technically that means we wouldn't be friends anymore. Anyways, I've got to get home. Hey, do you think the lawn is safe yet? Hmm, maybe if you hold your breath? <gasps> okay, thanks, bye! <laughs> stop breathing, stop breathing! I'll never take you off. <laughs> oh, Ginger! Man, you weren't even trying to dodge me. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. Ginger, Whoa. slow down or I won't be able to catch you. That's the point. I'm the most excellent player of every indoor game there is. From indoor tag to indoor cat. <laughs> tag, you're it. No fair. I was giving a speech that doesn't count. Indoor fun day will now conclude with a traditional game of hide and seek. Though it's not exactly a tradition since it's the first indoor fun day, but I'll allow it. Gotta start somewhere, right? You guys are going down. Now, I've developed a completely fair method to decide who's it. All we need is a spoon, fishing line, a number of hooks. Last one to touch his nose is it! There. Oh. Last one what? Tom's it! Everybody scatter! Hold on, I wasn't ready. Oh, all right. See ya! We'd want to be ya! <laughs> Get out of here! One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Albuquerque. Hmm. Ben, always hiding by your work. Ah, oh. huh, all right. If I was Hank, where would I be? Well, these cushions look suspicious. Hank, I'm on to you. Hmm. 
So no one's decided to hide in the most obvious places. Well, I like it, challenge. All right, guys. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah. Uh oh, this is not good. Uh, guys, time out, real quick, okay? I, I need some help here. Hey, I'm stuck! Oh, come on, Tom, I'm not gonna fall for the oldest trick in the book. I know this seems like the oldest trick in the book, but my arm is actually stuck in the couch. Do you really need help? Or when you said this wasn't a trick, was that a trick? No, it's not a trick. Okay, but what about a double trick? And it's not a double trick that I said it wasn't a trick. All right. I'm coming out to help, but this doesn't count as you finding me! Uh-oh. Did you say uh-oh? I'm stuck in the bathroom! Just like the last time I was stuck in the bathroom, remember that? Hey, can you come in and get me? No, Hank, I'm stuck too, remember? Ben! 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 Where are you? Ben! Ha, no! This is not perfect, but... Ben! Fine! Hey, that was you! Good hiding! Yes! Fortunately, you rarely give things a closer look. Well, maybe not so fortunately, because me and Hank are both stuck. Hank, where were you even planning on hiding in there? Not sure, but hide and seek makes me nervous. And when I'm nervous, I have to go. <sighs> this is really jammed. <sighs> I don't know how you pull the doorknob off so easily. It's like I suddenly had super strength. Oh, stand back. I'm going to try something. Whoa! Never mind. Hmm. Some internal piece must have worn down. No worry. I'll just get a spare doorknob from spare doorknob storage. Let's see. The polished elegance. Hmm. The emerald turner. Oh, oh there we go. A good old bathroom spare. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Wait, don't let that door close. Uh-oh. Tom, why isn't there a handle on the inside of the storage room? I took it off. And why did you take it off? Because I trapped that thing in there that one time. What thing? Don't worry, it probably went away. Uh, but yeah, you can't open the storage from the inside. Why didn't you tell me that before I got locked inside here? Okay, well, nobody panic. Ginger's still hiding somewhere around here. He can help us. Ginger? Ginger? Ginger! 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 Sounds like Tom found everyone else, but they still can't find me. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. So Ginger's not answering and struggling. <sighs> Just gets the friendship bracelet more stuck. Maybe Hank is having more luck than I am. Tom, my head is stuck in the sink. <laughs> I mean, maybe Ben is having more luck than I am. I call this new invention the emergency door opener 5,000. Wait, 9,000, no, that's too much. 5,000 is better. Anyway, my troubles are about to be <laughs> Oh. You don't need to eat that pizza. You don't need to eat that pizza. <laughs> Eat that pizza, eat that pizza, eat that pizza, eat the pizza, eat the pizza! Whoa! Uh, Tom, what are you doing? Uh, just, uh, 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 cleaning the table. I mean, it sure was messy. <laughs> Tables. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't get me started on that. Man, Angela. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. You went home a while ago, so how are you back here? <gasps> Angela, you're floating. Yeah, do you like it? Oh, <gasps> the chemicals on the lawn turned you into a ghost. Or a superhero. Wait, are you a ghost or a superhero? Oh, neither, actually. I'm a hallucination. Your brain created me to deal with the loneliness of being stuck. So, you're not the real Angela? If I were the real Angela, would I say this? My favorite things in the world are Tom, 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 singing and dancing, and Tom, in that order. Wow, you are a really cool hallucination. So, you're really stuck, huh? Well, it's a friendship bracelet, all right? It's caught on a spring, and I don't know what to do. Because on one hand, I don't want to be stuck here forever, but if I got it, that means we aren't friends anymore. 
bracelet is just a bunch of string. If it keeps you from helping friends who need you, then you should cut it. <sighs> Wait, how do you know I'm making the right decision? Huh? I mean, you're just a hallucination. I know, but I'm your hallucination. Oh, hallucinate, Angela, come back. His name is Ginger. Like an Okay, my brain made up that hallucination, and my brain has never led me astray before. Right brain? Right. Left brain? Wrong. Or maybe I don't need to rush things. Maybe if I just wait long enough, the friendship bracelet will just come off on its own. Huh? Tom, help! My head is caught in the sink! I can't turn the water off! Oh, Hank! Why did you even turn the water on? I was thirsty! Sorry, the sink is filling faster than I can drink the water. Tom, get me out of here so we can get Hank out of there. All right, guys, hang in there. I'm on my way. Carry the 10 to the 12th power, and this proves that this is 100% Tom's fault. What did you just say? Never mind. Take this and go free Hank. Yeah, right. I'm here, buddy. Thanks, Tom. What were you thinking? Can I explain later? This water is going right through me. Uh, you're welcome. <sighs> Tom, why didn't you answer your phone? I called, I texted, I even sent you an email. Hmm? Oh. Okay, that explains. Explains it. You took off my friendship bracelet. Angela, I had to. We were playing hide and seek, and the bracelet uh, it, it got uh, stuck on a spring in the couch. Then Hank got trapped in the bathroom. And I got trapped in the storage room. Don't worry, Tom. I knew something like this might happen, so I made an extra. Well, that's great. That's really. Oh. Pink. Helping friends is way more important than a bunch of string. You made the right decision, Tom. I am not sure about that. What? Uh, I mean... <laughs> uh, hey, whatever happened to Ginger? Hmm, huh? I guess the real problem with hide and seek is when you're as good at it as I am, the game can get pretty boring. <laughs> I'll give him another hour. Or two. I love you, Daddy. How cute! Check my mood. Stranger danger. Huh? I love you, Daddy.